we would like to share with you this video film about small incision lenticule extraction in megalocornia for myopia. This is the first and only case worldwide. Megalocornia is a generally X-linked recessive developmental defect in which the entire anterior segment in cornea is enlarged bilaterally over a white to white of 13 mm with a thin cornea. It can present with other ocular congenital defects. So performing refractive surgery on these patients is a bad idea. Is that right? Well, actually you can. If the patient is highly motivated to be spectacle free and has no other associated ocular findings. There is no published report of refractive surgery on megalocornea in the literature worldwide and this is the first of its kind anywhere. Of course we need to make sure the eye is otherwise normal. We need to test the eye thoroughly before the surgery with a detailed slit lamp examination, refraction, OCT, topography and serious as well as a dilated indirect ophthalmoscopy. He was myopic minus 2.5 in the right eye and 1.75 in the left eye with cylinder. IOP was normal and he had bilateral megalocornea of 14.8 millimeters. You can see that the PACI was 413 and 401 microns and the eye was otherwise normal. We had to measure the white to white distance which was over 14.8 millimeters with a caliper as it was too big for IOL Master 700 to image. Consent is very important in a case where a surgery is being performed for the first time anywhere. He was very clearly explained about this. We have chosen the largest cap diameter with the smallest interface which is 7.7 mm and an optical zone of 6.5 mm and the cap thickness is 120 microns. We were apprehensive we may not be able to achieve suction on such a large and flat cornea. First the Visumac system performed a lenticule cut and after this a side cut. Finally, the cap cut was performed and the entry tunnel was created. The superficial and deep parts were delineated and in two sweeps, lenticule was separated. It was then extracted with a micro forceps. At a four year follow up, you can see the topography is normal. To treat megalocornea, ophthalmologists usually refuse to perform refractive surgery because it's never been done before. And LASIK with a microkeratome is a bad idea as a very flat cornea can buttonhole. Considering the four days of pain and blurring of vision and possibly haze, PRK was not the choice to treat him. And literature review shows that none of this has ever been attempted. In conclusion, SMILE for primary megalocornea has proved to be a viable and safe alternative.